Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up our internet browser on our home menu. And we're also going to add in Leafle's PS5 web browser. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. Okay, so we'll jump over to our settings. Go into our network here. We'll go ahead and set up Al Azif's DNSs if you don't already have it set up. But we'll go into settings. Uh, connect set up internet connection go ahead and hit option on your connection and hit advanced settings and we'll scroll down to dns settings change it from auto to manual and then you can go ahead and enter the primary dns and secondary you don't need both but uh, you can go ahead and just add any one of these into the primary and it will work uh, once that is done just go ahead and hit ok we'll finalize the connection and you should be good to go so we'll go ahead and back into there. Uh, we're going to go into connection status and view connection status here. And we're going to scroll down to the IP address, which is the IPv4 address. And we'll take note of it 10.0.0.9 um, as we'll need it later on the computer. So we'll go ahead and back into there. And we'll just jump back into user guide here. Go into user guide, select user guide and select user guide. Now we should get prompt with a security warning, just say yes to it. And as you can see, Alizip's host comes up. Once that comes up, we can hit L2 twice. And our URL redirect will come up. From here, we'll just go ahead and type in the echo stretch host, which is echo or ES7 and 1 dot site. Go ahead and hit R2 and then submit. Okay, so once that comes up, we can go ahead and hit the PS5 button. And we'll select Spectre's host. Okay, we'll give it a few moments here. You may get a memory error, don't worry about it, just go ahead and hit OK. And give it a few moments to go again. And we should get prompt with a ready message. Once that comes up, hit OK. And trigger UAF. Now this can take six to ten seconds. It usually doesn't take very long and we should see everything start popping up. There we go. And we are done. Stage six, the elf loader is loaded. As you can see, the uh, port for it is 9020. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open up a Netcat. I will leave a link in the description. Go ahead and open it up. And we'll enter in the IP address that we took note of earlier. As you can see, I already have mine in. It does save it in the settings, so just make sure you don't delete the settings file and you should be good. Uh, we'll put in the, I, or the uh, port as well. And then we'll drag over our PS5 ELF file. Go ahead and hit eject and wait for it to say done. Okay, so on our PS5, when we hit the eject payload, as you can see, it does come up and it gives us our IP address as well as our port. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you that. Okay, so there's gonna be a few things that we're gonna need. Uh, first, we'll need our DB browser SQLite. That's to browse our app DB file. We'll need an FTP client to, uh, to get the app DB. I'll be using FileZilla, and then we'll need our internet browser FTP. Um, we'll extract that here, and this is done by uh, Jose Gonzalez. And you can see that he did supply the app DB there as well. So you can jump over to his Twitter. He will have a link there for it. You can go ahead and download it. But uh, yeah, once you do get it downloaded, we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and close that out for now. We're going to open up FileZilla. And we'll type in our IP address here, uh, 10.0.0.9. And then we'll type in the port, 1337. Go ahead and hit connect. And then we're going to scroll down to system data, PRIV, MMS. And there's our app at DB there. So we'll go ahead and drag that over to our desktop. And we'll go ahead and minimize our FTP as we don't need it right now. So I do recommend creating a backup of it. You can just go ahead and create a folder. Uh, just name it uh, PS5 app, app Backup. There we go. Just go ahead and right click. 
copy, and then we'll paste it in here. Okay, so now we have that. We can move that out of the way. We won't need that anymore. Go ahead and open up our DB browser. And we'll go ahead and open up our app DB. And then we're going to minimize that. And we'll open up another one for Jose's uh, DB. So we'll open that as well. So we just got to make sure we don't get confused here, but uh, it should be pretty simple here. So we'll go into Browse Data. And we're going to go ahead and select the concept icon info. And we'll select the one that he supplied here. Just uh, click the one and anywhere it's on the blue, you can go ahead and right click and hit copy. And then we'll go ahead and open up ours. When to browse data. Now, as you can see, I do have uh, duplicates here of the uh, concept icon info as well as the icon info and the uh, add-on. That's just because I have two accounts installed on my PlayStation. So if you want to add it to both accounts, you will need to add it into each one of them. Um, but I'm going to add it to my main one. And I do know it's uh, the first one I added was my main one. So it's just the way it's going to be in here. So we'll select the first one of uh, concept icon info. And we'll go ahead and click on insert record. Okay, and I'll go down here. Just go ahead and highlight the first part blue and then hit paste you will get a little warning here do you want to insert anyways just say yes to it okay and then we'll move on to the next one so the next one's going to be concept uh, metadata do the same thing select the one and then go ahead and hit copy and we'll do it here as well now you notice that the concept metadata and the content info they only have one so it doesn't uh, doesn't matter. You just add it to there, and it'll be in on both. So we'll go ahead and insert a, another one, and hit paste, and say yes. And we'll move on. There's four totals. So when the content info, select the one. Go ahead and copy, and then uh, insert. and paste and say yes okay and one more to go which is our icon info go ahead and copy that and we'll go here selecting the uh, first icon info go ahead and insert a new row and then paste and yes okay once we do have that done we can go ahead and change it over to the content info and we're going to scroll down to the one that we just put in and scroll all the way over to the right side and we're looking for ppr deep link uri go ahead and just open that a little bit uh, you can see all of zips host is there we're going to go ahead and change that to lethal's ps5 browser so we'll type in uh, lethal oh lethal dot github dot io slash ps5 go ahead and hit apply and then we can close that out now as we are done with it just go ahead and hit save and then we can close out the other one uh, as we won't need that anymore okay so we have our app here and it's been updated we can go ahead and open up our browser and we'll just drag that over and overwrite the old one. Go ahead and hit OK. And then we just got to add the icon. So we'll back completely out to the beginning. And then from there, we're going to go into our data folder. And we'll open up Jose Gonzalez's. My screen's not very big, but we'll open up Jose Gonzalez's and we'll go into the data folder. And you should see an app folder there. We're just going to go ahead and drag it over. Uh, if you do get a message to overwrite, just say OK and OK. Once that is done, we are done and we can go ahead and jump over to the PS5. OK, so now that we're over to the PS5, we can go ahead and hit the PlayStation button and uh, hit circle to get out of there. And as you can see, we do have our Internet browser there. Go ahead and select it. Okay, and it loads up Lethal's uh, PS5 browser there. 
Um, from here, we can go ahead and add a favorite in if we want. So we'll go ahead and put in the echo stretch host. Go ahead and R2, and then we'll hit a go. Okay, and as you can see, it loads up. From here, just go ahead and hit circle to back out of there. And you can see it's in our history now. So we can go ahead and hit add to add it to our favorites. Hit OK. And it was successfully added over there. So if we want to get rid of our history, we can go ahead and hit clear history. Hit OK. And our history is blank. Now the question you might have, well, does it save everything? So if we go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. And go ahead and launch our internet browser again. You can see that the uh, the host is there now. So you can go ahead and add anything in here. You can go ahead and put in Google if you want uh, Google. Go ahead and hit go. Once it adds it to your history, then you're good to add it to your favorites. So add and OK. Hit our PlayStation button. Back out of there. Open it back up. And you can see it is there as well. But yeah, that's basically it for the video. I just wanted to jump on, show you that there. You can go ahead and add it. Um, I hope you did like the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.